Okay, students, let us see what is there in this question now. P and R are parallel wires carrying the same current into the plane of paper. P and R are equidistant from the point Q. The line PQ is perpendicular to the line RQ. The magnetic field due to P at Q is X. What is the magnitude of the resultant magnetic field at Q due to both wires? Okay, my dear students, for this question, you have to first find the direction of the magnetic field at Q. So how are we going to do that? See, in my videos, if you have been following my YouTube channel, if you have seen that playlist, I have given... Um, I've created a different video for how to find the direction of magnetic field. I use right hand palm rule type 1 for this. But um, okay, I would be writing a bit of this, but I will not be going into details because explanation has been done earlier also. So you see, this is the right hand for me. And so the thumb will be pointing towards the current in the direction of P. So the current is like entering into it. So I keep my hand like this and my fingers will be pointing towards Q. So the palm will be pointing towards left hand side so clearly this is going to be the first magnetic field but the magnetic field as you can already see that the magnetic field will be of the same strength because the wires are carrying the same current and the distance is also same so the magnetic field intensity because of p as well as because of r they will be same but the direction will be different and in the case of r it will be in the upward direction like this now you would be asking like how to apply the direct the rule to find the direction because majority of the students might be having problem with this so my dear students for this i'm using right hand palm rule but type one like this is not written in the books as like this but it is my terminology so please do not expect other teachers to know this like they would be knowing a right hand palm rule is fine but type one type two type three these are my terminologies so right hand palm rule so in this what we do is we have our thumb in the direction of current in the wire fingers will be pointing towards the location of point with respect to wire okay so you have to literally use your palm like this and you have to literally touch the screen so you touch the screen with your hand and try to find like where is the point. So in this case, the point Q is downward. So I would be keeping hand like this. So my fingers will be pointing downwards. Okay. And if that is the case, so the palm, so palm will be pointing towards left hand side. So it will be pointing towards left hand side. So if you do like this and accordingly, you have found the direction of the magnetic field due to the wire P. Similarly, by using the same rule, you can find the magnetic field due to R and they will be of the same magnitude. Clearly, this becomes a square and um, we have done this in the vectors. So the resultant of this will be like this, the hypotenuse and we have to apply the Pythagoras theorem here or you can just remember that whenever we are having these two sides equal to each other and the angle is 90 degree. So the diagonal length is B square root 2. So this was actually x. So our answer will be x square root 2 in this question. So clearly c will be the correct answer, my dear students. So this is how we do this question. Even now, if you have a problem, my recommendation is please go to the playlist 5.4 and try to do as much as many questions as you can from that playlist. So you would be becoming really good with these kind of rules and laws to find the directions and you would be able to do this. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for further assistance. Also, you can join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.